Welcome to the Texicom Alarm app. Our engineer has usually set up the app on your first device, and it should be ready to log in with your alarm code. Enter your code into the Panel User Code area, and tap Log In. If you've already logged in, you may have been asked if you want to use Touch ID or Face ID to log in instead. Once logged in, you will see this home screen. You can log out at any time by using the Log Out button at the top right-hand side of the screen. The green logo in the top right indicates that you're connected to your alarm system. Towards the bottom of the screen, you can see the three buttons to control your alarm. The left-hand green open padlock can be tapped to disarm your alarm. The middle orange padlock is used to part-arm your alarm, and finally the right-hand red padlock is used to fully arm your system. At the very bottom of the screen, you can see the various menu options for other functionality in your app. In the middle is the system time and date, and around the outside is the event timeline of the current day. The white line changes colour depending on the status of the alarm during that period. Here, you can see from midnight the line is orange, and so the alarm is part armed. The bubbles of events indicate a change in the system status, and so thereafter the line turns green to indicate the alarm is disarmed. The bell inside the bubble indicates that an alarm event has occurred. Areas of the line that are red will indicate that the alarm was fully armed for this time. By tapping on one of the event bubbles, you can see the activity list, and further view additional details about the event. Back on the home page, we are going to demonstrate controlling your system. Firstly, we are going to demonstrate the middle orange button. This will offer us all of the part arm settings available on the system. A part arm is where, for example, we deactivate the upstairs sensors but leave the downstairs alarmed. In most cases, there is only a bedtime or nighttime setup option to choose from. Tap the bedtime option and the system will begin to set. Once set, the background of the button will be a solid orange colour and a notification will usually appear to confirm the action. Now we can safely disarm the system using the green button. Again, the padlock will turn to a solid green and a notification will usually be received. Next we're going to demonstrate the full alarm option by tapping the red padlock. The system will go through a series of checks before confirming the alarm is set with a solid red background to the button, and in most cases a notification will be received. If any issues occur when part or full arming the system, a notification will be displayed on the screen. At this point, you should check the keypad for further information. Again, now we're going to disarm the system using the green button. If you are unable to connect to the system with your app, we recommend checking your home or business internet connectivity.